Hey up and welcome back to Football Manager 2024. Back with the journeyman with Yeovil Town in the National League. If you're enjoying this series, please make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you're new channel, hit that subscribe button for the consistent uploads. So we are back. We left off with the 1-0 defeat to Oldham, in which we were really unlucky to suffer that defeat. It's not been a great start to the season for us. So we then had Bromley and Went 2-1 up, went 1-0 up, they equalised, we went 2-1 up, they equalised, and then in 90 plus 4, we conceded a uh, corner kick, and you knew, I think it was a corner kick, you just knew it was coming, it was one of them, you could see it coming from a mile out, and we took took another loss. We then went away to Altrinham, and went 2-0 down after 35 minutes. We we started so poorly. We were better in the second half, got a goal back through James Jones, but just couldn't get that second goal. We then played Rochdale, who were off the back of a 5-1 win, and went 1-0 down via an Ollie Haystone goal, but at that point, we'd been in complete control of the game. Uh, Romeo got us a, an equaliser, and then in the 83rd minute, naughty naughty got us a goal. Massive deflection on it, but it got us our first win of the season and our first points of the season. We then played Newport, who were bottom of the league, went 1 0 up via Henry Sandat in the 75th minute. And I'm going to tell you now, we were dominant and we had so many chances, and their goalkeeper had the game of his life. And then yet again, in a 90 plus four, favour for one me. Scored a goal and resigned us to uh, only taking a point. So that leaves us right now in relegation. <laughs> it's not been a great start, and it's I, I it's I want to say it's worrying, but it's not. We're we're not playing badly. We're just being very very unlucky in games, and we're as a general rule we're dominating most games for both put like shots and possession and xg we're just falling away at the end of games a little bit we're also going to go to the weirdest news of the save and that is that fulham have signed neymar on a free <laughs> fulham i've got a 33 year old neymar <laughs> look at them technicals like, and even physically he's not that bad it's just yeah. So, yeah, uh, we did also make, I think there's been one, maybe two transfers. Uh, there's been two. So we signed Jack Senga Ngoye. I'm pretty sure we did sign him in the last episode. He's come in as the kind of replacement and backup to rotate with Staunton. He can play as the Segundo Volante. He can play as the anchor. He can play as the box-to-box. Uh, I think Mazala is not great at, but he can kind of fill in our midfield roles. Six foot one. He's not played great in the uh, appearances he's made so far. But we've brought him in. And then we've brought in Mark Baker from Chorley on a free. Young striker, regen, kind of going to see how he goes. I I'm, I'm saw 15 first touch, 15 technique, <laughs> technique. You know, some good mentals in there. And I was like, you know what? He's worth a... He's worth 130 quid a week. We have got a lot of players still on trial. We're still trying to look at players, but let's get into this first game. It is against Woking. So here is your lineup for the game. We're going to go with Rose in goal, Statham Jones, Honorias, and Haste, Naughty and Staunton in midfield, with Asamuga, Low Everton, Maguire Drew, and Cargbo. Sandow's going to start on the bench, but he'll, he may well be the guy. He may well come in to replace Cargbo. Cargbo's not. Not hit the ground running, but we know with Karg Brode, it once he does, it'll be insane. Matt Worthington has asked to leave. He felt like he was being replaced by um, Sen Senga and Goye. Has kicked off about it. Beckham's injured, and so is Sinclair. Oh, and also, Woking have none on Boatang, so expect a goal from none on Boatang. All right, highlight here with Hayes. Goes to Maguire Drew. Crosses the ball into the back post. Asamuga couldn't quite get his head on the ball there. He's going to pick up the loose ball, though, and he's going to go to Jones. Into Naughty. Switches it across here to Haste. Whose touch is appalling. Haste picks up again. He's got it round the corner to Low Everton. Ah, it was probably the wrong decision there. Disappointing. Ah, he's going to whip the corner in, though. 
Kepa as far as an ulti. It's back to low Everton. Flicks it onto Maguire Drew. Oh, what a tip by the keeper. Right, another corner. Low Everton whips this in. Jones flicks it on. Hamzid gets his first goal of the season because Hamzid can't boast magic. He wears a magic hat. And if you threw a brick at him, he'd head the fucker back. He heads it to the left. He heads it to the right. And when we win the National League, we'll sing this song all night. I don't know. Has he scored in a live com yet? <laughs> I don't know if he has. I've been waiting to sing that song for so long. It was such a key song in our streams. <laughs> Another throw here with Haste. Goes to low Everton. Back to Haste. It's awful. Haste is not having the greatest game for his passing ability. To Maguire Drew, who's also been poor this season. Staunton. Good ball to Maguire Drew. And low Everton makes it too. I've just been in... Oh, he's offside. I was just... I was about to say, I've just been insulting Maguire Drew. Is he off... That's very suspicious. All right. Goal kick on a Rias. Good winner. Goes to Asamuga. He's taking his man on. Goes to Cargbo. Slows the game down a little bit too much for my liking, but he's in the box. If I... Uh, he should have taken control there and just taken that header, but Staunton's going to pick it up. Good ball in, and that's a penalty. Cargbo was pushed by McJennett. And it's going to be a penalty. I think it's Maguire Drew steps up. We've seen him miss multiple penalties. Can he get his first of the season? Yes, he can. Well done, Maguire Drew. That is... <laughs> I'm not getting too confident yet because we've we've seen us throw away leads like this. But we have been very good this season. And Magu oh, this game. And Maguire Drew getting on the score sheet for his first goal of the season. And he needed that. And it's another corner this time. Maguire Drew to put it in. Jones makes it free. It's 3 0 before half time. Maguire drew with a goal and assist after his 40 goal uh, involvements last season. We, we needed big numbers from him this season. And is this the turning point for him? There's been a lot of. There was a media report or a question the other day that people were saying he wasn't. He lacked the mental and technical abilities to survive in this league. But it's half time and we have limited Woke into nothing. All right. Free kick for Woking. Cargbo, big header out from Cargbo. Not shirking his defensive duties, which is great. Oh, if Maguire Drew could have switched. Oh, he has switched it now. Oh, it's not great, but Asamuga's going to pick up this ball. Can he beat his man? Oh, he's just going to whip the cross in. And Cargbo, Cargbo makes it for... Oh, my God. Yeovil turning on the style. We have turned on the style this game for what has been an awful season for us so far. That has seen us lurching in that relegation battle but that is fantastic great header gets up between two men just what you want to see before our big game against Sully Hall and it's corner in Maguire Drew back post oh Cargbo wanted that Asamuga picks it up he's going to take on his man whip another cross in Cargbo Ooh, he looks imperious in the air right now stay from here with a throw in Goes to Maguire Drew, switched over Callan. Honor ass, big head up. Callan picks the ball up again. Honor ass to Heist. Goes out here to Asamuga. Back to Heist, to Staunton, to Honor ass. Across here to Statham, to, K to Callan. Callan, can he get a good ball in? Oh, it's not a great ball. It's going to be cleared. But we're going to kick up the loose balls again. Jones. Need some movement from someone. Honorary ass. Round the corner. Maguire drew. Through to Asamogos. Please square it. And Carbo has a hat trick. <laughs> you wait all this season for a goal to come along and then he goes and scores a hat trick. It's so unselfish by Asamuga. I said that Asamuga was one of them that I wanted to keep around because I felt like he could he could do something this season. And that's fantastic. He's been he's been so lively in this game. Right, haste with a throw here. Goes to Maguire Drew, back to Haste to a Samuga. Cross to the back post for Callan. It gets headed out, but only as far as Statham, who gives the ball away needlessly. But Senga and Goya's picked it up. Haste back to Senga, back to Honorias. 
spreads it out to heist. Back to honorary ass. This is not, <laughs> these are players that I don't want to see as part of in the ball. He's going to go all the way back to Rose. Rose is going to switch it out here to stay from that. Is fantastic. Who's given the ball away? But Jones is under no real pressure to naughty to stay from. Down the line for Callan. What can he do with it? He whips a good ball in and card ball just over the bar. Oh, Asamuga's on the ball here to heist. Takes on his man, whips in a good ball. Cogbo makes it, <laughs> gets his full for the season and makes it 6 0 to Yeovil. Oh my God, what a performance by the lads. And I'm really hoping we haven't just given up all our goals before the Sully Hall game. But Hayes does really well. He beats his man, whips a good ball in. Cogbo at the back post. That You've got to ask question marks of the keeper there. And that is full time. It's 6 0 Yeovil. Four goals to Cargbo, a goal from Maguire Drew, and a goal from <laughs> from Jones. Let's just look at the Woken team. Nana Boatang put in a 5.9, a 5.9 from Adeloy, Rye with a 5.9. They just could not handle us. Okay, we are naming an unchanged lineup for the game. We do have Beckham back and Sinclair's back, but I think with the performance we've just put in, you can't change your lineup. So, Rose, Statham, Jones, Honorias, Hayes, Naughty, Staunton, Asamoga, Loeverton, uh, Maguire, Drew, and Cargbo. Uh, big thing's been made about the game between Curtis Cargbo's return against Sully Hall. Okay, so here is Sully Hall's team. Let's see how many players we recognise. Kovacevic, Clark, Katie Craig, Joe Sabara, Maycock. I'm sure we signed Roshan Scott. They've also listed Joe Newton for transfer. And Mark Beck's on the bench. I think Joe Newton might be someone we look at bringing in. He was fantastic for us at Sully Hall. So it might be a case of he, we look at bringing him in. First highlight, Kovacevic with the ball. He's dropped. He's gone along with it. Haste wins that, but he's fallen as far as Sabara. Scott, that's a great goal. I think I've already spotted an issue. We need to switch to tactics. Um, against I'm noticing against four free threes, our midfield's just a bit too deep. It's poor goal to concede. Scott takes on his man and then drills it across row. It's a good finish. It's disappointing to go one 0 down so early on with a throw. Goes to Staunton. Staunton to Maguire Drew, back to Staunton. Round the corner to Maguire Drew. And Asamu goal, first goal of the season. He deserves that. He's been good this season. And it's great play from Maguire Drew. It's good little intricate play by us. We took advantage of the fact that we know Clark isn't the best defender. <laughs> he had a habit of getting done like that when we were there. The ball was probably meant for Cargbo, but Asamuga gets there and converts the chance. Where are they saying the offside is? To Senga and Goya. Switches it over here to Asamuga. He keeps it in play. Goes to Low Everton. The referee is given a penalty, and I will be the first to admit that was a very soft penalty. Maguire drew. It's probably karma. It's probably justice, but. Doesn't mean I wanted to see it. We need a better penalty taker. All right, so throw in here with haste. On a reass. To the Sunny. Sunny switches it to Asamuga. Asamuga to Statham. You could see that Statham really wanted the uh the overlapping run, but Asamuga's got it. Statham stayed down. Where's Jones? Oh, the young the youngster from the Academy. <laughs> the uh the the early start, and it's on me. It was my mistake. I should have realized against uh a 4-3-3, three, three. we can't be doing, we can't be playing our 4-2-3-1. It's just a bit too far back. It, the disconnect between the two midfields is too much. But it wasn't a great game for for us. We dominated. It's just, we, we just lack that little bit of extra quality that we need for this league. Okay, so I think we're going to come back for the Barnet and FA Cup game. Barnet game is a TV game, so, you know, in this league, TV games are massive. So we'll come back and then we'll see who we're playing in the fourth round of the qualifying, the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. Um, 
but yeah, I feel like they're two games to go for. Gives us a good four games away. Um, if you've enjoyed this episode, please make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you're new channel, hit that subscribe button. All the support really does mean the world to me. Thank you very much. I have been Justin and you have had just enough.